Did you know you can see the International Space Station with your own eyes? This is Hidden Tech, Episode 1. I'm Robert Schoch. The International Space Station orbits over 200 miles above the Earth and has been continuously occupied for the past 11 years. Crews are made up of American, Russian, Japanese, European, and Canadian spacefarers. There have even been seven tourist visitors to the ISS. And while the U.S. no longer flies shuttles, astronauts are still ferried to and from the station on Russian Soyuz capsules. The ISS is the largest man-made object ever to orbit the Earth at about 300 feet across. Even so, you might think that in order to see it, you'd need a powerful telescope since its angular width is only about a hundredth of a degree. And ordinarily, you'd be right, except for one very special circumstance. Imagine it's early evening. The sun has just gone down, which really means the Earth is rotated so that the sun disappears below the horizon to the west. The sun's rays are blocked by the Earth. Interestingly, if you go high enough, there'll still be light for a little while. And you can imagine the space station looks pretty spectacular with bright sunlight shining on it at night. How often does this occur? Constantly. It's just that in order to see it, you have to be standing in the right place below. Unlike looking at stars, a hundred miles difference in location makes a big difference for something that's 200 miles up. Fortunately, NASA has created a web page giving us the sighting times. I simply selected my city and looked up the time the ISS would pass over. Not being a morning person, I selected an evening pass. The station would be visible for two minutes and rise to a height of 58 degrees above the horizon to the southwest before falling into darkness. Now it was just a matter of setting up my camera in the front yard at the appointed time. In this case, 6.25 p.m. I went out a few minutes early, and it wasn't long before curious neighbors gathered, and I had to give an impromptu astronomy lesson while tracking the station in the viewfinder. Here's how it looked. And by the way, no telescope was used. This was taken with an ordinary 85mm camera lens. When the sun hits it, the ISS is brighter than any star or planet in the sky, with the exception of Venus, which it roughly ties. There it is, I got it. Okay, there it goes. And it's coming up. It's just a luminous spot in the sky, just moving very slowly. If you see any strobe lights, you know it's an airplane, but if it's just a luminous spot like that... I can't see any strobes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Just moving very smoothly like that. And then when it hits about 56 degrees, it'll pass out of the sunlight, so it should just disappear. It's too far away to see anything. It's about 200 miles up, so you only see that spot in the sky. See, it's starting to fade out now. Yeah. You can still see it, but it's very dim. Yeah, it's and it's pretty much gone. So there you have it. Amazing but true. All you have to do is find the right time, look up, and there it is, 200 miles up. You can see the International Space Station with your own eyes. If you've enjoyed this episode of Hidden Tech, why not subscribe to receive updates whenever new videos are released? Simply click the link on your screen. I'll have more episodes on the science and technology hiding in plain sight all around us. Thanks for watching.